What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dirk Hamelwood, and in this video, I will be covering Chapter 8, uh, Section 1, Computer Models. Uh, what is a computer model? Uh, to start off with, I guess we'll define it. A computer, a computer model is a computer program that creates a simplified mathematical representation of a real-world process. Basic computer models can be created using spreadsheet software, but more often, dedicated modeling software is used for more complex models. Because models involve vast numbers of complicated calculations, they are often run on supercomputers uh, or more advanced computers like workstations and mainframes. Uh, uses of computer models. They are used to model two types of situations. Those which are difficult or impossible to observe, such as uh, climate models, uh, nuclear reactions, uh, or things like the Big Bang, which can actually be repeated, uh, which are just theoretical. Those which are dangerous and those which are dangerous or expensive to test, such as changes to nuclear reactor design, uh, car crashes, um, possibly tests in environments which may be hostile towards human uh, interactions, such as volcanoes and, uh, and like deserts and whatnot. Uh, applications. Computer models have a very wide range of applications. Uh, we'll start with city transportation models, which are used to model traffic levels at different times of the day, and how these will change in response to changes in the transportation infrastructure. These models can also predict side effects, such as changes in noise or air pollution caused by traffic levels. To do this, these models need to accurately use speed and quantity of vehicles on the road, as well as human behavior, which can be some, which, can, which sometimes can be difficult to input. Structural models. These predict the strength of buildings and bridges in severe events such as earthquakes and storms. These models require complex details about the construction of buildings in question and the materials used in it, as well as the makeup, their, makeup of their surrounding environment, such as the soil or the ground in, in which they are built uh, and which they structurally uh, rely on. Um, phenomena in space, such as supernovas or black holes, can also be modeled using a computer as well. This helps advance, no advance knowledge of phenomena that can be difficult to observe. Uh, in this picture, um, it is a model, uh, a structural model of a building, uh, which may be used to test strength or or as I said earlier, uh, the, in the event of an earthquake, of an earthquake, how it may collapse and what kind of damage it will sustain. Um, drug interaction models. These can be used to improve understanding of bacteria, bacteria and viruses that cause disease, and the effect of different doses on patients. This is useful because it doesn't put real patients at risk, and uh, a wide range of factors can be tested, such as age, uh, ethnicity, and current health state. Um, Car crash models. These are used by vehicle manufacturers to observe the effects of car accidents on cars, passengers, and pedestrians. They supplement the physical car crash tests done in today's auto industry. The output of these models help the designers make decisions about safety of cars before they are put on the market. Additionally, uh, many different designs can be tested before they are built in prototypes, which can save a lot of materials and time and money. Uh, this is just an example of a, um, a model for a automobile, which may be tested in a virtual simulator. Um, CFD models. They are also known as computational fluid dynamics. Uh, they model the flow of liquids and gases and are used to test, test aerodynamics. They are becoming more common because different designs can be tested without wasting resources. Uh, race cars, airplanes, and other aerodynamic vehicles are often tested as well as turbines for airplanes. Oh, I already said that. Um, additionally, um, uh, things like rocket ships and, and things that really rely on uh, reducing drag. Climate models are used to model the Earth's climate for everyday purposes and scientific research. They are some of the most complex types because they in incorporate a wide variety of, da of input data, uh, such as like um, heat, uh, pollution, gas concentration, and other um, even external like uh, radiation from the sun which can be difficult to incorporate everything that's needed, so they're not often the most accurate. Uh, this is a surface temperature um, model, climate model. Um, uh, computer models also have applications in business and finance. These are often known as decision support systems because organizations use them to answer questions about possible future performance and assist in decision making. They incorporate past business data such as profits and sales figures, as well as social theories about consumer behavior. They answer questions about the possible outcomes of business decisions. Uh, why use models? Computer models have a number of advantages compared to testing situations in real life. 
Models can be used to generate what-if scenarios and quickly change input variables to see their effect. Tests conducted with models are generally cheaper. cheaper. Models are safer than real-life testing and are more practical in some scenarios. They can also, also can be repeated with exactly the same input data, something rarely possible in, in real-life testing. Uh, these are my references. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.